In today's episode, you will learn how to make a biometric student attendance system and save the records in a database whether a particular student is present, late or absent. This is a complete wireless system. The transmitter and receiver side has no physical connection. The computer application is designed in Visual Basic 2010 Express Edition. In this project, two Arduinos are used. One is the transmitter which is connected with a fingerprint module and the other one is the receiver which is connected with the laptop. In part one of the biometric student attendance system, I explained how to make a very basic GUI application. In this episode, I explained how to add text boxes, labels and timers, etc. In this episode, I will not explain the things which I have already explained in my previous tutorials. I highly recommend first watch my previous tutorials based on the fingerprint module and then you can resume from here. In this episode, I will explain number one, complete circuit diagram. Number two, GUI attendance application. Number three, how to install a ZEM server. Number four, how to create a database. Number five, how to connect a database with the GUI attendance application. Without any further delay, let's get started. The components and tools used in this project can be purchased from Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. This is the transmitter side circuit diagram. As you can see, 433 MHz RF transmitter data pin is connected with the Arduino pin number 12. The 5 volt and ground pins of the transmitter module are connected with the Arduino 5 volt and ground. The 5 volt and ground pins of the fingerprint module are connected with the Arduino 5 volt and ground. The TX pin of the fingerprint module is connected with the Arduino pin number 4 while the RX of the fingerprint module is connected with the Arduino pin number 5. The 5 volt and ground pins of the 433 MHz receiver module are connected with the Arduino 5 volt and ground, while the data pin of the receiver module is connected with the Arduino pin number 11. This Arduino will be connected with the laptop. For the best understanding, I created two GUI applications. This is the basic one and consists of only four text boxes, four buttons and a data grid. The names of the text boxes are txt underscore search, txt underscore role, txt underscore name and txt underscore class. The button names are btn underscore search btn underscore save, btn underscore update, and btn underscore delete. While the name of the data grid is data grid view one. Now let's open our final application. As you can see, this is just like the basic application. In this application, only the number of text boxes is increased and added a clear button. The names of the text boxes and buttons are exactly the same. For the best understanding, I will explain this basic application. The programming is already done which you can download from our website. So after you make an application just like the one you can see on the screen, download the programming from our website and paste it over here. Now to connect this application with the database, we will first need to install the same server and we'll do some basic settings. Follow the same steps and enjoy the music.
as you can see I successfully saved a record in database the same programming is used in the final biometric GUI application except this time the number of fields are increased you can increase or decrease the number of text boxes as per your requirement to make it completely automatic I added timers and for the serial communication I also added a serial port for detailed explanation you can visit my website the link is given in the description in this project two programs are used one program is written for the transmitter side Arduino and the other program is written for the receiver side Arduino let's first start with the transmitter programming before you start the programming, first of all, make sure that you download all the libraries from our website. As you can see, this is the same exact program used in my previous fingerprint-based student attendance system. In this program, I made only one change, which is I defined a pin for the transmitter, while the rest of the program is exactly the same. Now let's have a look at the receiver side programming. I started off by defining a pin for the 433 MHz radio frequency module data pin. In the white setup function, I activated the serial communication and selected 9600 as the baud rate. Make sure you use the same baud rate in the computer GUI application. The virtual wire set RX pin function takes only one argument as the input which is the receiver data pin. Then I activated the virtual wire and selected 2000 as the communication speed. Then starts the while loop function. We simply read the message. In my case, I'm sending only one character from the transmitter. This character, when received by the receiver, is stored in the variable C. Then using the F conditions, we check whether the received character is A or B. If the received character is A, then send a roll number 1001 to the computer application. And if the received character is B, then send a roll number 1002 to the computer application. So that's all about the programming. The computer GUI application and Arduino programming can be downloaded from our website. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.